political advo advocacy groups uh, can be an educational uh, mechanism for an organization. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, disability rights groups that have been helpful in uh, uh, educating corporate America about ways in which people with disabilities can be accommodated. Who's the best expert when it comes to accommodating a particular disability? Probably the person who's got the disability. I think what's important for companies to understand is that Asian Americans in this country are are joining together and are joining coalitions and organizations and have increased their power in terms of being active. They know how to say no. The presence of advocacy groups in this country have certainly played a role, they continue to play a role, which is to heighten awareness around individual issues, if you will, or specific causes, if you will. That's not a bad thing. However, it, the important thing for corporations to remember is that advocacy groups are there to advocate their own cause. If you look at the social and community groups and some of the activism associated and outreach associated with the groups, these can be very positive for corporations and organizations. They can also be highly disruptive if in fact the corporation has not done its work on evaluating all of the communities they're doing business in, both directly and indirectly, and taking a look at the various community-based organizations. We've organized something called the uh, Hispanic Association on Corporate Responsibility, which uh, specifically focuses on trying to make corporate America more responsive to the Hispanic market and to Hispanic employees. And we've had some success. Um, when a company uh, realizes either because it's enlightened self-interest or because it faces a threat of one kind or another that it needs to begin to be more proactive in the Hispanic community. We've had some good examples of well, the good things that we can do together in terms of recruitment, in terms of uh, vendors, in terms of uh, advertising, reaching our market, uh, product development, uh, a lot of things that are win-win situations, and I think that's what we aim for. And uh, you can sustain a relationship much longer if it is based on um, trust and mutual self-interest.